Hello. Today we're going to be talking about not holding back. So I came to this, you know, epiphany when I read a lot of stuff on it, but I was trying to figure out if I should just, you know, save all of my best information for, you know, courses and paid opportunities. And I realized like, that's not, that's not the most human thing I could do. That's not the most intelligent thing I could do. The truth is, is that why I hold anything back? Why, if I really want to help people, you know, you have to just go all in, right? You have to go forth and help and you have to go out there and you can't hold anything back. And it really has to do with everything in life. You can't hold back your dreams, you can't hold back your goals, you can't hold back your best pieces of art, you just have to go out there and do it. So, I'm no longer gonna hold back, you know, because I got some fucking sweet, sweet and spicy life secrets that I've been, you know, researching for years and years now. And I just wanna let it all out. I wanna, I wanna tell everybody, and if I help one person, then I've done my job, you know? So today's lesson though is just don't hold back. Yes, there'll be a time where money is important. Yes, there will be a time where you should hold your tongue, but in reality, like, what's gonna happen? What is the worst thing that's gonna happen if you absolutely went all in and you held nothing back on your dreams, you know? In fact, most people don't try to live their best lives because they hold everything back. They hold themselves back from their goals, from their dreams, from their love. And it's because of the ego or their, or their just, you know, self-proclaimed bullshit that they put themselves through in their own mind, saying that they won't be able to do it. Well, how do you know? You didn't try. And you have to not hold anything back once you're all in on something. Now, getting clarity is probably the first step because if you're clear on what you want and then you go all in and you hold nothing back, then you're set. You know, we've lived on this earth for so many years without all the modern technology and shit still got done and it's because people put their mind to it. They put their all into what they wanted. It's how they sailed across oceans and built cars and did all kinds of crazy shit. So the fact that you are holding yourself back from going out and it's probably something that could happen, you know, and it would make everything for you. It would change everything but you're holding yourself back because you make up excuses. And what I've found is that if you get that butterfly feeling, you know, that scary feeling that you wanna turn around, that's usually the moment you need to go even further all in. And you need to see what's on the other side of that scare because then it won't scare you anymore. So that's what my tidbit of the day is, is don't fucking hold back. Go all in, don't hide your fucking glory from the world because you want something that doesn't even hasn't even happened yet i think my favorite quote from the week was uh from uh, maharishi right and they were trying to find a place for his new temple and his new university and uh there was all you know the banking guys there you know maharishi found the spot and all the banking guys are standing around and they say they asked maharishi well if this is where you're going to do it, where's all the money going to come from? And Maharishi answers, <laughs> it's going to come from wherever it is right now. <laughs> I think that's so awesome, man. Because there's infinite amounts of wealth and, you know, resources out there in the world. And it's all going to come to you when you need it. But you're never going to get it if you don't need it. If you don't get to the point where you're taking steps for the next thing, where you're taking the leap of faith and seeing for yourself that there is a beautiful world that could be yours if you just let go and you go all in after it. So don't hold back, go all in. You know, of course you need the clarity first because you have to know what you're going for, you know? And so many people in their lives don't want anything and they get exactly that, they get nothing. So have clarity, figure out who you are. So I've personally narrowed it down to three streams, you know, 
or for myself, it's gonna be creativity, uh, marketing and business, and then self-development. So those are my main focuses in life, you know, because I've always <laughs> been able to outwork anybody and I've always been able to learn anything and do more research than anyone. I can read more books than anyone and I can do more than just about anyone I know. Sprocket!